Hi, I'm Alexey Mikhailov, and today we are talking about noise and vibration. This is a very negative factors which make your presence on a boat sometimes unbearable. Displacement boats are generally quieter than fast-moving boats because they have smaller engines, better insulation, they're heavier and they can allow to use more of insulation materials and carry more weight which dedicated to interiors. We cooperate with a company which have a special software which modeling noise and vibration based on your equipment and position of your equipment and they model how noise and vibration travels throughout the boat, mainly vibration. We address noise and vibration on the drawing stage of our projects. We modeling how vibration spreads based on, on the, our hull, our frame structure, equipment we're using. It's very specific software which calculates this and we can see which zones needs to be reinforced because to fight vibration after you build a boat it's nearly impossible and we better predict it and cure it before before we even start construction and then we use um, a lot of mechanical things which reduce the vibration uh, it starts from the low ratio gearboxes which allow us to spin our props slowly so our cruising rpm in the vicinity of two to three hundred and it's create very little cavitation the cavitation is another source of vibration actually sometimes it's a main source of vibration so to begin with we generate less cavitation and then we're using a thrust bearing, which allows us to disconnect the engine and the thrust of the prop. So the engine mounts softly and the special pads allowed it to flex and float. More than pads, which are designed to take the thrust and we connect our shaft with the gearbox by carden connection. So it's basically a soft connection. It's allowed disalignment. Actually, it needs disalignment and allows engine to be mounted softly, as I said before. And we also put some ballast in skegs, which we usually have an engine sitting in the low part of the hull, in the skeg, and we put some additional way to absorb the motion of the engine, which is another source of vibration, engine itself. So generally generators have two suspensions. They suspended in the sound shield, and also they suspended additionally with the sound shield. However, the engine, it's only one suspension. We do a lot of percussion for the noise suppression. First of all, all our interiors are made in box-in-box -box technology, so it means that interiors are not touching metal structure, otherwise than through the soft mountains. So the, the noise and vibration which travels through the metal structure is not transmitted to the interiors. And second, we, we do a lot into suppression of the noise right in the engine room. Most of our engine rooms are two-story engine rooms. So it means the engine is engine noise is, is sits in the lower level of the engine room. And then it's another level where the loudest source of noise is the generator, which are generally quiet under 60 dB. So it's predetermined low level of noise in our salon. And we achieve yacht and super yacht uh, levels because it's, it's all predetermined by class which levels of noise and vibration you have to have on your boat to call it a super yacht, to be able to do a charters. And we achieve these noise and vibrations requirements on all our boats. Some of our boats uh, comply with the, with the requirements of comfort and comfort plus requirements for the super yachts. For example, we tested noise and vibration levels on our B-72 boat. 
It was a 13-point inspection performed by a licensed organization in 2024, where the measurement equipment was installed throughout the yacht, which was sailing the Mediterranean Sea. These are the results, and according to the numbers, the noise and vibration registered were corresponding with the highest levels of comfort for everyone on board. You know um, why we pay a lot of attention to noise and vibration? Because these two factors are slowly working at you, so they make you uncomfortable to the stage that you want to leave the boat without even uh, recognizing what caused you this discomfort. So the constant noise and vibration is very disturbing and very negative um, factors of the boats. So, you know, we, we keep on saying uh, our boats is home away from home, home on the water, and we we all appreciate when our home is quiet, when you don't hear neighbors, when you don't hear noise of the street outside, when you don't hear loud music from the neighboring restaurant. So we all appreciate, you know, quietness of our homes, apartments, no noise from neighbors, no highway noise. So we all cherish our quiet neighborhoods. So our boats is your quiet neighborhood.